So Joe Biden today is praising Senator Mitch McConnell for helping the Democrats pass the so-called infrastructure package because that is what we want. A radical leftist president praising our weak leader of the Republicans in the Senate. No, it's not, right? Of course he's praising McConnell because McConnell handed Biden and the Democrats a huge win. For the Republicans who supported this bill, you showed a lot of courage. And I want to personally thank you for that. And I've called most of you on the phone to do just that. I want to thank Republican Senate Republican leader Mitch McConnell for supporting this bill. Well, I'd like to say for the Republicans who supported this bill, Every one of you should be voted out of office. Every one of you needs a primary challenger. You have these 19 Republicans joining the left to pass a bill that will track miles driven on the highways and then tax you on them. These are the 19 Republicans on your screen. Look at them. Remember them. Primary them. This infrastructure bill should have been done under the Trump presidency when we controlled Congress back in 2016, but they couldn't get it done. Here's what McConnell said when Trump was president in 2016. Quote, what I hope we will clearly avoid, and I'm confident we will, is a trillion dollar stimulus. We need to do this carefully and correctly, and the issue of how to pay for it needs to be dealt with responsibly. That's when we got a Republican president. This just goes to show you how phony these lawmakers really are. Joining me now is former advisor to Presidents Clinton and Trump and host of Dick Morris Democracy right here on Newsmax. Our friend Dick Morris is here. Dick, welcome. Good to be here. Dick, my fear is they just teed up reconciliation for the Democrats, too. Yeah, they did. The whole point of this by Biden was to establish a reputation for being bipartisan so that he can then be totally partisan and pass three and a half trillion dollars without a single Republican vote. And that's the whole game. And they played into his hands by letting that happen. Now, I would like these guys to lose. Only a handful of them are up this year. Go ahead. Well, I was just going to say, are they really that dumb? I mean, how do city United States senators fall for this? Well, I think that they most, I think you'll get the answer to that in the ensuing weeks and months when you learn what these projects are. Uh, it's pork. Uh, they undoubtedly each have a bridge, a highway, uh, a, uh, a project in mind that they're getting funded as part of this bill or they're getting funded as part of the three and a half trillion dollars. Uh, the way this works is that I remember Harry Reid in Nevada um, fought like crazy for a bridge. And it turns out the bridge was to his own property, and he made a huge amount of money from it. You're going to see stuff like that coming out about a bunch of these members. So there are going to be three things that well, haunt them. Pork, inflation, and ultimately that all of this has to be paid for by borrowed money. None of it will be paid for with tax money, and they're going to have to vote on the debt limit. So debt, inflation, and pork are going to be the undoing of these, con these senators which are three things you never want to hear about when you're talking about Washington, but sadly we hear about them every day. Let me play a soundbite from you from Senator Markey from Massachusetts. This is a Democrat senator there. Um, listen to him basically explain exactly what is in this bill. Without question, the Green New Deal is in the DNA uh, of um, this uh, Green Budget Resolution. Uh, all of the things that are in, we talked about in the Green New Deal. Now, we have to go even further in the years ahead. Uh, we, we can't stop here. Well, he's talking about the budget resolution, using reconciliation to get it through. But, you know, Dick, to people at home, they don't care which bill is in what. It's the fact that all of it gets passed is what we're really concerned about. Do you think infrastructure makes it through the House now? You've got the progressives, uh, I hate yeah. using that term for them, but the sure radical leftists of Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez maybe siding with conservatives to squander this. What do you no, think happens? No, it's all set up. Uh, the progressives are trying to hold out because they want even more goodies in the bill. It's just a negotiation going on in public. All of it's phony. Uh, what we have to realize here is that this is all part of the Democrats knowing that they are going to lose Congress. They know that Pelosi's on the way out. 
and that uh, and the tumor is on the way out. And they're determined to get as many goodies as they can while they still have control. I personally believe that all the hype all right. about COVID and all the panic about it is to lay the basis for that so that, as Rahm Emanuel once said, you never let a good crisis go to waste. Yeah. Dick, this is why I bring you on, because the idea that this is phony from these radical leftists saying, oh, no, no, we're not going to vote for it. Um, not a lot of conservatives are talking about that. They're hopeful that maybe this will get sunk. It'll be very interesting. You know, you're usually spot on on these things, so I'll be watching that for sure. Uh, good stuff, sure. Dick Morris, as always. Hey, I'm Rob Finnerty. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please join the conversation in the comments below. Don't forget to subscribe, too. Hit the bell icon to be alerted to breaking news. And remember, there's a whole lot more on Newsmax TV, America's fastest growing cable news network. Newsmax TV, where real news for real people.